Hi, drama family. It's me, Drama Hyung. So, I started watching Jiri-san and I have already a lot to say. Jiri-san is a mystery-themed drama, so we will have to go in detective mode and try to decode the mystery together. Let me explain a little bit of what is happening in the drama before going on to the theories for the mystery man who is sending signals to our main female lead. Siu Yi Gong. In 2018, we are shown that a new ranger, Kong Hyun Jo, joins the Jiri Mountain National Park where one of the best rangers Yi Gong already works. Yi Gong lost her parents due to a flood that happened in the mountains. This is shown in episode 2. So Yi Gong becomes a ranger to help hikers on the mountain. The interesting person here is the main male lead, Hyun Jo. Hyun Jo has a special ability in which he foresees bits and pieces of any danger on the mountain. He sees the clues where lost hikers would be. Now the drama shows us the scenes, from past and present at the same time. In the year 2020, Seo Yi Gong is in a wheelchair and Hai and Joe is in a coma fighting for his life. An event happened in 2019, where Yi Gong and Hai and Joe went to the mountain on a snowy day in winter and there they got in an accident and that's how they ended up in those states. Yi Gong is now back at the ranger's station because she believes someone is leaving signals for her in the mountains. Yi Gong wants to find out who this person is. This person sending the signals is not a villain. He's actually helping because he's putting the marks to help rangers find the lost hikers and their bodies. The mark shows a specific location where the lost hiker can be found. At the end of episode 2, Lee Da Won, the new ranger in the year 2020, comes around this mystery man. As I think this man is a good person, so I believe Da Won will be alright and nothing will happen to her. I have a strong feeling that the mystery man is actually the main male lead High and Joe. It doesn't make sense, because he's in a coma. But this drama is a little supernatural and fantasy, so we can't give up this possibility. Also, there are clues why this man is high in Joe. Firstly, this man is wearing the coat of the rangers. Secondly, this man is helping Yi Gong by making those marks that lead to the lost hikers. We know that this ability to foresee the lost hikers is the special ability of Hai and Joe. Also, Hai and Joe told Yi Gong in episode 1 that they should use these marks to help in the search. Hai and Joe and Yi Gong never discussed these marks with someone else. Only they were making those marks. Also, if we increase the exposure of the clip of Mystery Man at the end of episode 2, the person looks very much like Hai and Joe. I think all of this is related to the accident that happened in 2019 where Yi Gong got paralyzed. I don't think it was a simple accident. I believe someone tried to kill them both on the mountain. Firstly, Yi Gong knew that the mountain on a snowy day is dangerous, but she still went to the mountain that day with her junior Hai and Joe. It's because Hai and Joe must have seen something in the future, that someone is doing something illegal at the mountain which will impact the mountain really bad. So Yi Gong and Hai and Joe go to the mountain to stop this person. But this person harms them both. Also, maybe it's one villain, or maybe it's a full group of villains. But someone is deliberately killing hikers on the mountain. Like we see that someone is changing the path of the ribbons, and leading the ribbons to a dead end so that the hikers get lost and die. Maybe Hai and Joe found out who that villain was and Hai and Joe and Yi Gong were going to catch him, but they failed. I think one way to explain why there are the Hai and Joe, one in the coma and the other in the mountain, is that the Hai and Joe in the mountain is the soul of the real Hai and Joe who got stuck in the mountain after the accident, and Yi Gong will help his soul leave the mountain, and only then Hai and Joe will wake up from the coma. That's why the soul of Hai and Joe is sending the signals to Yi Gong. He's calling for help. So that was it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read your views. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you with the next video.